same thing. I'm going to use a 15 blade and I'm just going to scoop the inside corners here a little bit. Once again, you have to be very careful if you do this, especially when you're working on sheet zoos and losses, because a lot of times they have all that gunk they get in around the eyes, and if you go in there, a lot of times the clipper will grab that stuff, and you take a chance of nicking them. So just if you don't feel comfortable doing it with the clipper, try doing it with your thinning shears. And I find, I find the best way to hold them when you're trying to do that, I kind of lift this hair up, back out of my way, and by doing that, when I pull the skull back a little bit, it's, it's going to kind of open up that area in front of her eyes, and it makes it a little bit easier to get at, and less chance of um, like pinching the little the little wrinkles that they might have in there. And also, when you pull the skin on the top skull back a little bit, if you clean out in that stop area, those those little wispies that stick out, there's like a little inverted V right in there. If you clean those out with your thinning shears, then they don't stick. Um, into your into your visor area. Good girl, Sally. Now this is just like most people that do the uh, visor on a Shih Tzu or Lhasa or Maltese, whatever, they'll use a pair of curved shears and what happens is you use a pair of shears and you cut from one side to the next, it pushes the hair towards the middle of the dog's head and you wind up making a little you'll have a separation in the dog's coat. And the reason we do it with thinning shears is you can make it look a lot more natural and you'd make a lot less cuts than you would as if you did, you know, if you did it using a straight or a curved shear. And we want these dogs to look as natural as possible. We, we don't want them to look like they've just been groomed. You can see the angle that I'm holding my thinning shears just to try to get any of these little hairs right above the eyes or you know into the eyelash area you take those a little tighter and then they're not going to be hanging in her face and in her, in her eyes and cause all kinds of irritation what are you looking for Sally? oh that was nice <laughs> all right now the hair on the back of her head once I once I cut in my little visor area. What I do is I have I have her chin in my hand and I'm going to pull this hair forward. And this stuff on the back of the head, I'm using my thinning shears and I'm just going to blend that into the neck. Notice when she's taking the bulk off right behind the head behind the back skull. She's going with the direction the coat lays just to try to blend all of that into her clipper work because we've already set all this in with our clipper, so this is nice and short. So we've got to make a nice transition from the long hair to the short hair. So she's going in the direction that the coat lays. Same thing on this side. Pull that forward and just get rid of all that junk on the back of the ear. Now on Sally, I am going to trim this little bit right here. And that stuff, you can see the stuff that I just trimmed right now, that stuff that a lot of these dogs, they end up licking that into their mouth. And as years go by, that hair is woven around their teeth and it ends up loosening their front teeth and it can cause a lot of problems. And they lick it into their mouth anyway, so it isn't hair that you normally see. And it's always brown and stained. So just by taking just that little bit, it, you can't even tell that it's trimmed because like I said, once she licks that, it's, it, it's, it's gone to that point anyway. But it'll just help keep her face a little bit cleaner and her teeth a little bit better. Now on Sally, I think what we're going to do is just kind of round. Let me put this one so I don't have to hold her head up. And see, when, when I look at her before she's been groomed, I see the ears are so long, it looks like it's out of proportion. Her whole head is out of proportion with the rest of her body because everything on our body is nice and neat and symmetrical. So we have these ears that are hanging down too low, especially the back of the ears. They've been, they've been left too long. So we actually want to create an angle from the back of the ear towards the front of the ear to make it look more balanced and more tailored.
because her, her, her ear here is actually very thick. I'm choosing to just do this with um, 